Installing a new wear ring can be simple with a few tricks. This is the insulator, this is the wear ring. The insulator drops in with the 90 degree lip going down into the suction piece. The two ends go together and push it down into place to where it's centered. The wear ring has a chamfer around the outside that's going to go into the insulator first and that keeps from pushing the insulator out of the way while you're installing it. Normally just take and lube up a little bit, kind of wipe it around, drop the wear ring into the insulator, kind of square, then use an old impeller as like a seal driver tool. Drop it down in place and it'll drive it all the way down until it seats. Take and we'll tap in the center just to kind of get it started. Now we're going to go around the outside until it seats fully into the suction piece. You hear the pitch change once it actually bottoms out and that way we know the wear ring's set nicely into the suction piece. And kind of feel, make sure that it's not nice square inside. The other thing I like to do is take a, a razor knife and come in and cut off the little lip that runs around inside of the, of the wear ring. If you're doing any kind of blueprint work, uh, it helps to keep the impeller from trying to get up into that area from tightening the clearances up and causing your problems you know, when you get the boat back to the water. Okay, this little lip that protrudes past the wear ring in here, we're gonna take the razor knife and just stick it on a, about a oh, 30 degree angle or so. We're just gonna cut that little lip off as we go. See it peeling away? Now you're ready to go back to your next stage of the rebuild.